the Dirty Dozen. I'm gonna assume you know who we are. Everybody in the German army's heard of you. Yes. You are ordered by Allied Command to select 12 general prisoners. You could expect to be a hero. That ain't an army, it's a circus! By late 1942, Germany was at war on two fronts. In the east, Russia, and in the west, Italy and North Africa. With this, they had formed a very defensive stance, and in the west, fortifying bases and heavily arming their troops. To combat this, the Allied forces needed a special unit alongside their standard infantry troops. But forces such as the Special Air Service and Long Range Desert Group were lightly armed tactical groups. What they needed was the Raiding Support Regiment. If you look for any books on the Special Forces during the war, you'll be very lucky to find anything on the Raiding and Support Regiment. With almost no historical records on them, it would seem almost impossible to find out about them. But in 2011, Walt Jones, a former member of the RSR, published his autobiography of his experiences and who they really were. I met up with Alan Luke and Colin Higgins of the Devils in Red Reenactment Society to show me what the soldier of a, this brutal fighting force was equipped with. Alan, pleasure to meet you. Tom. Colin. Tom. Uh, so from the Devils in Red Reenactment Group? Yep. Yes, that's us. And uh, you portray Raiding Support Regiment, yep. yeah? Um, so is this like typical gear? Yes, it's typical gear for the Raiding Support oh, Regiment. Sure. Can you take me through some of the bits of gear? We have Colin in a standard British Army battle dress, jacket and trousers carrying a Kepsi German MP40 with some ammunition pouches and a 37 pattern webbing belt and a personal sidearm. Also a Commando Bergen and the classic Fairburn and Sykes fighting knife. He's wearing the sand beret exactly the same as the SAS, the Raiding Support Re Regiment issued for these berets as well. He wears the cap badge of the Raiding Support Regiment which depicts a line from the Bible which has been shortened to quit you like men. The original version was men like you quit, which was deemed an insult to the enemy. The wall represents the partisans, the resistance fighters, and anyone that the Raid Support Regiment will be, would be supporting. And the winged fist depicts the Raid Support Regiment coming in and giving them the support, i.e. heavy machine guns, artillery fire, mortar fire, any way that they can support their regiment. Okay, excellent. And, um what weapons? I mean, I can see you've two got completely different weapons as well as your main arms. I'm carrying a Lend-Lease American M1928A1 Thompson submachine gun. And an American Colt 1911 automatic pistol. In the book The Diary of the Special Forces from 1943 to 45, Walter Jones describes There were no anti-tank guns to train on, nor or any other weapons for that matter. No equipment whatsoever. Neither were there any professionally qualified army instructors. Officers and NCOs were being selected and appointed on the strength of interviews, which fortuitously threw up a few middle-aged and time-served reservists who had hastily answered the call to return to the colours. Emerging with rank from the interviews, however, were many incompetent misfits possessed with insufficient credentials for leading men into the cinema, never mind the war. Walter actually describes them as misfits. He later goes on about the German propaganda of ill news spread through the radio. He later quotes, 
Lord Haar, the traitorous perpetrator of propaganda for Hitler, is reported to have said on the radio of the newly formed regiment I was about to join, the Raiding Support Regiment, RSR was made up of alcoholics, criminals and misfits, whom the other units in the Middle East were glad to get rid of. As we read further into the book, we find out more about the cold-blooded murders of German prisoners, the desertion of troops, and the gratuitous actions of the troops towards the partisans. When we compare this to the Hollywood movies like Dirty Dozen, and Glorious Bastards, and Kelly's Heroes, we really do actually get a sense that they weren't far off. 